Hi guys. Um, in this hacker rank challenge, we are looking at for loops. So now, um, in programming, we use loops to repeat some sort of operations, and um, there are many types of loops that we use. Um, so this challenge looks at for loop. Uh, we also have while loop and then uh, do while. And in the future, we might look at uh, recursion. But anyway, for today's video, the um, the topic is for loop, and they give us some examples here. Uh, usually, here is where you initialize. Um, the variable that you, you are going to evaluate against in your loop. So, uh, for instance, we declare a number i, we set it to zero, and then uh, we increase it at every iteration. And then here we would check, for instance, is i greater than, um, uh, is i less than 10, right? So then in this case, um, we will increase it from zero to nine, meaning that that loop would run 10 times, right? Uh, so this is the basic example, and they give us uh, some code here. So for instance, int i equals zero, i is less than 10, and we increase it uh, at every iteration. So this would run 10 times. Now, in this challenge, what we have to do, um, we, we are going to receive um, two numbers as inputs from the user, and uh, we are going to name them a and b. Now, the, uh, the rule here, the constraint, is that a has to be less than or equal to b. And then the second thing is, uh, of course, they have to be an integer. So for each integer, um, it has to be between one and nine. If it's between one and nine, then we're going to print that as um, a representation of its uh, of the number in lower language. So basically, we're going to spell out the number, right? So one for one, two here is going to be uh, for number two, and so on. Um, that is, if n is between one and nine. Now, if n is greater than nine and it's an odd number, we're going to print odd, but if it's an even number, then we're going to print out even. And uh, yeah, this is basically a sum up of what we have to do. It looks complicated, but uh, when you code it out, it's very easy. Now, in my last video, I just did uh, that part of the uh, the problem. Um, you know, I just wrote out everything with an if else statement, and I said, um, you know, try and write it with a switch statement, but it doesn't matter. We are still going to maintain the if else statement because I'm doing this series of hacker rank challenges progressively. So um, I'm gonna try and uh, reuse some of the code. I think I copied and pasted it. I'm not sure if I still have it. Yeah, I still have it. So uh, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do um, is create our variables. So A and B. A and B are gonna be um, integers, right? So um, in C++, you don't have to declare it like this. You can if you want, but in this case, they, they are having the same data type. So you can just yeah, have them um, separated, separated with a comma on the same line. So A and B are here. Now we are going to accept input, so we use C in. If you're not very sure how to use C in, you can refer to my previous hacker rank challenge videos, and I explain a bit about um, reading input from the user. So we are going to read in uh, A first and then B. Right, so the user is going to enter a number for A, press enter, and then immediately they're going to be asked to enter another number, which is going to be stored in B. Now, uh, let's make sure that we uh, follow the constraints that A has to be less than or equal to B. Uh, if this is true, the rest of the code will run. If it's wrong, then it will jump to return and nothing will happen, okay? Uh, that return statement here. So um, now that we are inside our, our condition that we've passed, we need to create our for loop. So what we do, you write for here, int i. In this case, I want to set i, uh, the first thing I want to assign it the value of a, i is equal to a. And I want to make sure that uh, this loop will only run until we reach the value of b. So if i is less than or equal to b. And then I'm going to have i plus plus because I want to increment this. Remember that here, they give the example, if uh, for instance the number, the user enters eight and 11, we have to print out the um, uh, the representation in lower case of the number, so eight, nine, and then 10 is greater than nine, so then we write even, because 10 is an even number. If you divide it by two, you, you are left with zero. And then we print out odds, because 11 is an odd number, right? So we go from eight to 11, and we print it out that way. So that's what we are going to do as well. Now that we are inside our for loop, um, I think I'm going to paste the code that I had from my previous tutorial, which takes care of uh, printing out the correct representation uh, based on the, the value of uh, a number. If i is equal to one, you know, then we print out that way. 
Now, normally I would recommend that you store this in the function. First of all, you convert this to switch statement because it's cleaner. Secondly, uh, you should have this as a function, right? So that you can just pass it the number i or the value of i as a parameter or as an argument, sorry, and then it will print out the, uh, the correct output. But in this case, we haven't read functions yet and there are no instructions, you know, of um, using functions and whatever. So I'm going to keep it plain and simple. The code is going to look uh, very long, but then again, this is a beginner video, so it's fine, okay? But uh, in production, and if you are more advanced, please clean this up. You can do this as an exercise if you want. Anyway, so now that we've got this, uh, this will take off printing out the correct output, but if the number is greater than nine, then we need to add um, either uh, even or odd. So what we do here is, if you want to check if a number is an even number, you just use the modulus uh, operator. And we can compare it that way. If you divide it by two, if the remainder is zero, because the modulus will return you the remainder, if the remainder is zero, then it's an even number. And in that case, we can simply see out even. And else, this means it is not, uh, it is not um, a, an even number, it's an odd number then we can just have it that way, see out, out. All right, I think uh, the code is done, right? This is a very simple uh, part. Again, you should really clean this up, try and make it this as a switch statement and store it in the function, if you already know how to use that. Uh, but for those who are new, just follow along and we will um, enhance our coding style as we progress in these uh, video series. So if there are no errors, I think this uh, code should pass. And yes, we did pass the code, did the test. So I'm now going to test it out with some custom input. Let's say from five to 15. So it should print out a five, six, seven, eight, nine, you know, as the normal representation. And then uh, even odd, even odd, even odd. And I think this is what we have here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are the normal representations. And then 10 is an even number, 11 is odd, 12 is even. 13 is odd, 14 is even, 15 is odd. So this is correct and we have passed the test. So that's it, uh, please, um, like I said, make sure you do your extra exercises to practice uh, cleaning up your code and everything. Uh, but if you like this video, this is it for now. So if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe, uh, you give it a thumbs up and you leave your comment below and you share it and make sure you turn on your notifications. I'll see you in the next video, bye.